Today, he's all wound up. 
and he's even been barking. He never barks like that. Yeah. Not a lot of them do. Yeah. He's crying all morning. He's been yeah. barking in this place yeah. today. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like Tori should have been back by now. Like she should be out back by now. Yeah. Is she no. Oh, I thought that was for calling me. No. She's been just sitting out there for an awful long time. She's waiting. That's it. She has her phone handy. Thank you. 
loving Ginger is, and she's she's a cuddler and she's playful. That's what he's like at home. Aww. So when I'm there, he's fantastic. He's jealous. Number one, if you're not in there with him and you're out with these other dogs, yeah. Right now, I'm sitting here just chewing on his toy, oh, and my fingers are literally on the side of his mouth. There's no, there's no aggression or anything. Right. It's not that at all. That's okay. I don't want to get the dogs upset. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you for understanding. They have a dog with them? Yeah. But a little tiny one. Yes, they are. Teeny weeny. Uh, so I can't. I just can't today. <laughs> I'm just not up to it. Not today, please. I don't care about the dogs. My hair would be shot. I'm going to come in for that one. So is she still wearing this because she has a kennel mate and they don't want the kennel uh, No, mate? it's actually because her stitches haven't come out for her eye yet and she's, oh. she's scratches. Oh, okay. So, but she's been fan. I told him, I said, I wouldn't trust her in the kennel by herself, but here with us, I, because somebody on staff saw a picture of her sitting just like that with me on the couch and, and told on me that she wasn't in her, in her uh, home. And so someone from the clinic called me and said something, and I said, well, I said, as I do with every dog that comes up here in a cone, I said, as long as someone's in there with them, 